Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the pilot episode. I won't lie to you guys, I have seen season one of Buffy, but we're going back years now. I don't remember anything. So it will be like I'm watching for the first time. We'll see how this goes. I do remember liking it, but again, it was so long ago, my feelings might change. But without further ado, let's get into this pilot. Vampires, the demons, and the forces of darkness. She is the slayer. I love the vintage vibe already. <laughs> Sunnydale. Didn't remember that that was the name of the school. <laughs> First jump scare. <laughs> yes, I love that Rita's in this. Those that know, know. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is going great so far, guys. It's like Supernatural season one when I was jumping every two minutes. She's so cute. This one time in bear camp. <laughs> This is so old school. These memories or premonitions? Buffy, I'm up, Mom. Don't want to be late for your first day. All oh, right, okay. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. Excuse me. Yes, the curtains. God. Jeez. Feel good. Oh, I love her. Hey, Jesse, what's what? New girl. That's right. I saw her. Ah, oh, he was from, he was from the OC. Buffy Summers. Buffy Summers. Los Angeles. Interesting record. Start fresh. A clean slate, Buffy. That's what you get here. What's past is past. Mr. Flutie. All the kids here are free to call me Bob. Bob. But they Bob. Don't. I know my transcripts are a little colorful. Do you think uh, colorful is the word? I'm guessing he wasn't very good at puzzles. You burned down the gym. Yes. I remember eyeshadow like that as well. Here, I mean that gym was full of vampire asbestos. Vampire asbestos. <laughs> oh, the knight in shining armor comes up to help with the stuff. Xander. Oh, he's got a nice smile, him, hasn't he? He's got Chandler Bing vibes. Hey, do you think? You got your steak. This is clean. You should come by the bronze tonight. The who? The bronze. It's the only club worth going to around here. Well, I'll try. Uh, thanks. And you can tell me absolutely everything there is to know about you. Oh, fun. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Hello? Oh, this is where she meets the professor guy. Because this is where he mainly works, right? <gasps> Anybody's here? Can I help yes. you? I help you? <laughs> Miss Summers? Good call. I'm Mr. Giles, the librarian. Librarian? He's not a professor, my bad. He's a librarian. I'm gonna need perspectives on 20th century- I know what you're after. Well, the chatter in the calf is that she got kicked out, and that's where her mom had to get a new job. Nay. Nay. Ha! Even blue, and she said it Holy shit, you know? That's the third jump scare in one episode? Guys, this is not okay. Willow, right? Why? I, I mean, hi. <laughs> but aren't you hanging out with Cordelia? I can't do both. Not legally. I kind of have this burning desire not to flunk all my classes, and I heard a rumor that you were the person to talk to if I wanted to get caught up. Oh, I could totally help you out. Uh, if you have six period free, we could meet in the library. Oh, she's my fave. Already. The place just kind of gives me the Wiggins. Oh, it has that effect on most kids. The Wiggins? The collection and the new librarian is really cool. He's new. Yeah, he just started. Interesting. Buffy, this is Jesse and that's Xander. Oh, me and Buffy go way back. Old friends. Very close. Then there was that period of estrangement where I think we were both growing as people, but now here we are like old times. I'm quite moved. <laughs> so he just wants to fill the silence. So what do you do for fun? What do you like? What do you look for in a man? Let's hear it. If you have any dark, painful secrets you'd like us to publish. 
Gee, everyone wants to know about me. I'd hate that. So she has the super strength. I don't remember any of like the details, like the technicalities of how she got there or her history or whatever. I didn't think there'd be vampires on campus and I don't care. And why are you here? To tell you that I don't care. Which means she definitely does care. <laughs> Will he rise again? To make you a vampire, they have to suck your blood and then you have to suck their blood. It's like a whole big sucking thing. Mostly, they're just gonna kill you. Oh, why can't you people just leave me alone? Because you are the Slayer. Right, so he knows that she's the Slayer. One girl in all the world, a chosen one, one born with the a strength, strength and skill to hunt the, the vampires, to stop the spread of their evil blah, blah, blah. Right. I've heard it, okay? So it's her destiny to do this, and she doesn't want to. This is like supernatural, isn't it? The family business, but it's just her business. <laughs> I believe this whole area is the centre of mystical energy. The things gravitate towards it that, that, that you might not find elsewhere. Werewolves, incubi, succubi, everything you've ever dreaded was under your... Right, so it's not just vampires. First of all, I'm a vampire slayer. And secondly, I'm retired. Hey, I know! Why don't you kill him? I'm a watcher. I... Retired and she's still in high school. A watcher? Watches? Yes, no. He trains her. He, 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 he prepares her. Prepares me for what? For getting kicked out of school? For losing all of my friends? For having to spend all of my time fighting for my life and never getting to tell anyone because I might endanger them? That caught him off guard, didn't it? Oh. Oh, okay. Something is coming. Something, something, something is, is going to happen here. Soon. If you're not careful, you'll get in trouble. He kind of sounds like Stewie Griffin. I'm going to offend so many people by saying that. <laughs> there we have an evil layer. Layer. The sleeper will wake and the world will bleed. Jeez. They're quite scary, aren't they? The vampires. Like their faces. Which I bet was quite ahead of its time for like a TV show like this. Could be wrong. Are you uh, going out tonight? Yeah, I'm going to a club. Well, just be careful. I will. Does she know about the whole vampire thing? Oh, you're a good girl, Buffy. You just fell in with the wrong crowd. She doesn't know about the vampire thing. Which is weird if she was created and, cho and like the chosen one, you know what I mean? Impressive! <laughs> is there a problem, ma'am? Yeah, there's a problem. Why are you following me? I thought you'd be taller, or bigger muscles and all that. Everyone knows about her. What I want is to be left alone. Do you really think that's an option anymore? You're standing at the mouth of hell, and it's about to open. Don't turn your back on this. You've got to be ready for the harvest. I don't remember any of this. Like, I can't remember why he's there or who sent him. But you obviously just wander about something that's coming, the harvest. I thought Xander was going to show up. Oh, are you guys going out? No, we're just friends. The librarian's just chilling in this club as well. The age ranges in this club are drastic. <laughs> he just looks a bit pervy, do you not think? Just lurking. I mean, obviously he isn't, <laughs> just to clarify. But it is strange that librarian, teacher, professor in the young club. The harvest. That means something to you, because I'm drawing a blank. I'm not sure. Who, who told you this? Something about the mouth of hell. I really didn't like him. You definitely did. I'm guessing Angel and Buffy is the, is the ship that everyone ships. Look at them. Throwing themselves about, completely unaware of the danger that surrounds them. And just like lurking over a shoulder and stuff. There's no trouble coming. The signs could be wrong. It's not as though you've been having the nightmares. Nightmares? Cordelia! Yay, it's my stalker. <laughs> hey, you are you look great. Wanna dance? You know? With you? Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, no. Brutal. Plenty of other fish in the sea? On the prowl. A lot of people talk to themselves on this show. There's so much you don't know about them, about your own powers. Tell her, teacher. The point is, 
player should be able to see them anyway. Without looking, without thinking. So he's gonna be the mentor. Isn't that No, cool? don't you touch her? Oh, he's got Predator written all over his face, hasn't he? Save her, Buffy. <laughs> Call everyone I have ever met right now. <laughs> yes, that phone. <laughs> One vampire I can handle. Jesus. <laughs> uh, smashed it. Nailed that green screen, guys. <laughs> master. He is the master. Okay. I think the pros prosthetics look pretty decent to I mean just my opinion be ready I need my strength oh like his neck looks a bit funny there but uh the ice cream bar is this way it's past Hamilton Street oh Willow listen to the red flags my girl alarm bells a graveyard why is she not just running away oh Xander have you seen Willow not tonight no she left with a guy oh okay th this is nice and scary <laughs> okay, this is this is nice, nice and scary. Been in one of these? Uh, no, I'm good just here, thank you. Oh dear me, just smack him right in the face. Give him one of them. Oh no! It's just a firm kick in between the legs. Will they have junk? I'd imagine they'd still have junk. I think I'm gonna go. You're not going anywhere until we fail. <laughs> <sighs> well, this is nice. Buffy, we bail now, right? Not yet. Is Xander not freaked out by what he's seeing? Oh gosh, they growl as well. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, they, they just poof into dust. You had to come here. You couldn't go suck on some other town. Who are you? Don't you know? Oh. I don't care. Yikes. She killed Thomas. Luke, she's strong. You're strong. I'm stronger. I'm stronger. Use my strong hand. Oh dear me, there's no they're just everywhere. Oh, nicely done. The gymnastics. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, ouch. I mean, that would have broke her spine right there and it didn't. So is she like, is her body able to handle a lot of hits as well? Newest light will come the harvest. And the blood of men will flow as wine. Is that, is that him? Master, yeah. The earth will belong to the old ones and hell itself will come to town. Jesus. I knew that that was coming as well. Ah, oh, to be continued, are you shitting me? Joss Whedon, are you playing at? Okay, so another pilot reaction down. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I could totally see me doing this as a series. It's just my type of thing. And the fact that I haven't seen it, well, seen it in its entirety, should I say, uh, bodes well for future reactions as well. I remember the professor, well, he's a librarian. For some reason I had it in my head that he was the professor. Like I said, in the reaction, I don't really remember why he was there. Was he put there purposely? I have more questions about him. Is he completely trustworthy? Because my memory tells me that he is, but I don't know, because it's been that many years. And the, some of his behavior was showing red flags for me, like, the lurking over a shoulder and the quite pushy behavior but that could just be because of the severity of what's coming and he knows that something is coming so he's just trying to be persistent to to stop the bad thing happening could just be that 
Angel, I remember that being his introduction for some reason. I had a very different memory of that. And again, I don't know why he was there. Obviously, he knew who Buffy was. She didn't know who he was. And obviously, I know that he's a vampire. And there is a spin-off called Angel as well. Because I was going to do the Angel pilot. But it does make total sense just to leave that for now. If I'm going to pursue Buffy as a series. Because there's going to be spoilers in there, no doubt. I remember liking Buffy and Angel and shipping them a little bit. Not like overly strong, but I definitely remember shipping them. And yeah, Willow is by far my favourite character. I just think she's so cute and she's just so innocent and I just like her vibe. So I want to see more of her. Xander, I like his quirky energy. I like his dialogue as well. And I like that he just says things like he's got no filter. He just spews it all out. Similar to Willow really in that regard. So it makes sense why they're friends. But yeah, really enjoyed this pilot. I Obviously, it's very old and you, it's clear to see how old it is. Some things haven't aged well whatsoever. But having said that, I was still like immersed and it wasn't taking me away, like distracting me too much. There was the odd occasion where I, it was, I couldn't help but giggle. Like the, the mobile phone and the, the, the clothes, like the flares. Uh, the the makeup like all the aesthetic type of things yeah i guess the, the special effects of the master coming up from the the pool of red what i'm guessing is blood but i honestly don't know uh that was quite funny but again probably really far ahead of its time when it aired again could be wrong this is just my thought system right now uh but yeah the the dialogue i really like in this show like the the way that the characters communicate with each other and like the comedy aspect of it and the way that Buffy's just so like light-hearted and just like well live every day to its fullest and oh not this again and she's just chatting away to the vampires like just the confidence I really like that this has made me really excited to start the show and I don't know when I'm going to be able to even start it because I plan to do the boys when Supernatural or a spot opens in general or when Super Supernatural ends and I'll obviously still be doing Supernatural and Lucifer until they end so wh whether the boys and Buffy come in at the same time I don't know but I just know that I want to watch the show now I do I want to watch the next episode like right now that's how into it I am so it's gonna suck waiting <laughs> So we'll have to wait and see how time goes and stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction as much as I enjoyed watching this episode. If you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. Let me know, all you patrons out there in the comments below, what you thought of this pilot, and if you think I should pursue it as a series, I would really appreciate that. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon for the next one. Bye, guys. Okay.